All right, you guys, I'm Carrie, and I am back reacting to the second half of uh, Bunyip Blue Bomb's Most Unexpected Desires by Worthy Butter, where when we last left off, they had murdered a poor bird who was addicted to cigarettes for lying about seeing a flaming possum, which didn't really look like a possum to me. It looked more like a kangaroo or something. Anyways, let's get back to this insanity. Who is this girl? Is that like- what? Is that like his wife or something? This is the first time we are seeing her. At least in the poop. Same. on the log. I've been searching oh. everywhere for you. Mm, it is not you I you search for. It is your <laughs> parents, Bunyip. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most unfoodling idea I've ever heard. Do you always talk with a stick up your bottom? <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> Ew! How can you abuse it, John Cleese? Put it like this! Oh, I'm so full. Room for a muffin? Keep an eye on that pudding. Poodles paint and pudding and larger at your service. Keep an eye on that pudding. What? Pudding and larger. You didn't book a pudding and larger? No. You sure you haven't got a pudding you like and large? How? No. You sure? You sure? You sure? You sure? You sure? You sure? <laughs> yes, I said I was sure! A dandelion. <laughs> the true love story. Why are they so excited about putting this guy to sleep? Oh my god. He's literally see-through. Cause he's a ghost. Because he's dead. <laughs> oh, beat me. Come on. Come on out of there. I can see you. For one day only, I'll take on all the comers. That is quite the crowd. Chocolate cake. Nice. He looks like the Grinch. <laughs> yeah, I just realized the pudding's face reminds me of the Grinch. <laughs> oh no, poor guy. I feel so bad for him. Something 
leaf pudding eater. Gum leaf? Oh, not good enough, am I? Do it! Oh, for crying out loud! <laughs> Fruitcake. <laughs> oh, it's become a fruit nut cake. All right, there's always a little bit of room for Christmas food. It's Christmas pudding, too. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Pizza pie. I, was this made like around Christmas time? Maybe. I'll have to check. Stop chocolate cake. Munchy honey cake. Chicken. Strictly a gum leaf pudding. Fruitcake. <laughs> Christmas pudding. It's Christmas pudding. <laughs> Pizza pie. <laughs> this very diverse crowd all has different ideas about they want what 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 they want the pudding to turn into. <laughs> All because nobody could agree on what they wanted the pudding to be. I hope you guys are happy now. The police are here. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to arrest the three of you. I've gotta find those dandelions. Blasted poultry. Their attempts to eat away, chew away, munch bolt and guzzle ended on the wrong side of the bowl. It all started when Bunya Bluebum, Bill Barnacle, and Sam Sornoff indulged in a magical pudding named John Cleese. I'm John Cleese. That apparently had more tricks up its sleeve than anyone anticipated. Witnesses say the pudding, in an attempt Is to this keep like track an AI of its voice? of potential transformations, went into overdrive. I can't count how many times I shouted, What the hell is happening? The sky this culinary catastrophe led to what experts are calling a pudding-induced temporal hiccup. Yes, you heard it right. Time travel, folks. <laughs> oh, well, we just brought Doctor Who into this. Reasonings behind Ned Kelly's re-emergence and the ancient Greeks using laptops all of a sudden. Oh, my God. The trio laptops? I thought that was a pizza box. Totally not at all. Sass victims in this gastronomic mishap now face a rather perplexing what? session in the court of law. What are they wearing? Oh, like mistakes. <laughs> or in Barnacle's case, not wearing. Easy. Die. You don't know the half of it. And what we should be doing is saving my fish. All the <laughs> Yeah, everyone's forgotten about his fish parents. <laughs> I'd like to propose that young bunny appears to Case closed. As for John Cleese putting himself, he's sadly gone as a result of this disaster. But at the very least, may his legacy live on amongst the stars forever. Jamie McKinnell, ABC News, Sydney. <laughs> I'm gonna go crazy. Sydney? Is this Australian? Another freaking hour later. <laughs> no, he's sucking his thumb. Well, here's another nice mess you've gotten me into. Oh, we haven't uh, we haven't heard him say his signature line in this sucking. half yet until now. Well, I'll be sucked. They decided coffee was better than pudding. The five non-existent stars. YouTube hasn't had stars in, I don't know, like 10 years or something. Maybe more. When did they change the star system to the like and dislike? Wow. What a terrible video that I, the great Norman Lindsay, have just finished watching. Oh well. Time to go back to painting some more naked ladies. <laughs> the end. 
What the hell? Why is... Is that like a little... <laughs> no! Is that like an actual little garden thing that you can buy? Like from the movie? Also, what the heck happened to Bunyip's parents? I guess they got eaten. I don't even know what the heck that ending was. But uh, this poop has made me want to go find this movie and watch it because it seems... I don't know. It's definitely something. <laughs> it reminds me of those like um, 80s Disney movies like The Black Cauldron and stuff. But um, I guess it's Australian? I don't know. <laughs> Link to the original video and Worthy Butters channel will be in the description. Hopefully he makes more YTPs in the future. That was freaking good. Clearly this took a very long time to make so super appreciated. As always, hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you in the next one.